the Blair government introduced academies, it was about school improvement and they had an effect. But we cannot say now that academisation are for school improvement because the evidence is in now. Chief executives paying themselves more than the Prime Minister. That's not right. It's not a proper use of public money. Give us a ballot and the strikes will stop! People have started to realise that the lies they were told about academies, all the things they were told academies are going to do for their children, do for the communities, they are lies. So in the post-war period, there's this construction of a welfare state about equality of access and equality of opportunity. And there was a political and economic class that despises these ideas. My hospital's being privatised. My housing's privatised. And now they're telling me that my kid's school's going to become an academy. Enough is enough. So it started there, in that corner of Newham. As a head teacher of 25 years standing, I'm telling you that this is not the way forward. Yeah. Why is the Regional Schools Commissioner actually allowing yeah, failing yeah, trusts yeah. to take on schools? And we discovered the land's worth £11.7 .7 million without planning permission. We've seen the emails from the DfE suggesting that they want to sell the land. They've denied it. They've gone and put a land developer on, on the trust, you know, and you just think... If you've got a private motive like that, then at the very least there's a doubt about why you're taking the actions that you're taking. And I think there are, those private motives are leading to people taking bad decisions, off-rolling children to make their school look good. I do believe that, that some children are being targeted, I really, really do. And this is, a, this is a child that's been out of school for 10 months. We felt really undermined, undervalued, disrespected, and I guess that's what kind of drove us to keep fighting it, because we weren't going to put up with that nonsense. Education is always political, is always a struggle, is always being contested because it's fundamentally about values and it's fundamentally about the type of future we're trying to create.